Hi. Nice to meet you again. In this video, you can see how to carry out boiler water and cooling water test by using Durarine products. Firstly, we need to take boiler water sample for analysis. Need to wear personal protective equipment for collecting boiler water sample. We will collect sample water from sampling cock. Gradually open boiler side sampling valve. After then, drain water along sampling tube, before sample is collected. Hot boiler water sample is needed to cool down before analysis. As first, we will carry out hydrate alkalinity test. Fill 12 milliliters of sample water into titration vial. And then, add 2 milliliters of barium chloride 10% into vial and swirl to mix. Next, add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator into vial. If sample water in vial is colorless, hydrate alkalinity is zero. If sample water turns pink, some hydrate alkalinity remains in water. Add sulfuric acid and by 10, drop by drop unital sample is colorless. PPM of hydrate alkalinity gets by multiplying number of drops of sulfuric acid in 5. If PPM shows 40 to 60 PPM, no dosage adjustment is required. Calculates and records concentration of hydrate alkalinity into sheet. As second test, we will carry out phosphate test.
Bold paper filter like this. Fill 25 milliliter of sample water into sample cup through filter. Please subscribe and turn on Noti Bell for more informative technical contents. Place phosphate ampoule into cup and snap tip of ampoule. Pull out ampoule from cup and inverting ampoule several times. Need to wait 5 minutes for full color development. Ampoule is placed between color standards of comparator. 10 to 80 ppm of phosphate level is acceptable. As third, I will show how to carry out hydrazine test. Fill 25 milliliters of sample water into cup. Amorzini pool is placed into sample water and snap the tip. Remove ampoule from sample water and inverting several times. Wait 10 minutes for full color development. Place flat end of ampoule downward into center tube of comparator. Direct comparator toward the source of white light and compare the color. Now, we will carry out neutralized conductivity test of boiler water.
As first, connect conductivity electrode to conductivity meter and switch on. Fill 100 milliliter of cooled boiler water into beaker. And then, add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator into beaker. Add gallic acid powder into sample water and stir until the pink color disappears in water. After then, place electrode into sample water. Stir electrode gently and allow time for reading stabilize. If reading shows less than 700 microns per centimeters, no surface blowdown is required. Record the reading of display. The fifth test, you can see chloride test. If you think chloride ppm may higher 100 ppm, use tall glass vial and fill 2 milliliter sample. If you think chloride may less than 100 ppm, use plastic vial and need to fill 10 milliliter sample. Now, I think chloride by less than 100 ppm. So, I use plastic file and fill 10 milliliter sample. Add three drops of phenolphthalein indicator to sample. After then, add sulfuric acid and buy 10 drops, until sample turns clear and add one more drop. Add 6 drops of potassium chromate. Sample will turn yellow.
count and add silver nitrate and by 10 until sample turns orange. Chloride ppm can be calculated from multiplying number of drops of silver nitrate with 10. Now, we will carry out condensate water pH test. As first, Take condensate water sample from cascade tank. Take 10 milliliter sample water and test immediately. Add 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator to sample water. Add sulfuric acid drop by drop until sample turns colorless. One to two drops indicates acceptable condensate pH. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget like and subscribe my channel. See you in next videos. Have a good day.